much. Let me welcome both of you uh, to the show this morning to talk about what I consider to be a very, very important topic, uh, the Harlem Renaissance. But before we get into that... Yeah. Harlem once was red line district rated, designated ghetto like the yellow star of David. And you wonder why people don't own their homes? Because the racist bank couldn't fucking mortgage a loan until after the invasion of gentrification, eminent domain intimidation. That's not negotiation. And it's frustrating to look at every day, like watching a porno on 56K. Biohazard labs instead of storerooms. What's next, motherfucker? Projects and storerooms? You ain't fool nobody in this community, do that. With your little fake Manhattan Bill community group Ivy League, real estate firms of corrupt I lay siege to your castle like the Moors in Europe They treat street vendors like criminal riffraff While politicians get the corporate kickbacks Harlem Renaissance, a revolution betrayed Modern day slaves thinking that the ghetto is safe So they start deporting people off the property Ethically cleansing the hood, economically They want to kill the real Harlem Renaissance Trying to put the Virgin Mary through her early menopause The savior is a metaphor for how we set it off Guerrilla war against the rezoning predators When I speak about Harlem, I speak to the world The little Afghan boy and the Bosnian girl The African of Sudan, the people of Kurdistan The third world America American, indigenous men, Palestinians, Washington Heights, Dominicans, displaced New Orleans citizens, beachfront Brazilian favelas that you living in, they'll put his prime real estate they want back in again. I didn't write this to talk shit, I said because some of y'all forgot what the Harlem Renaissance was. We had revolution, music, and artisans, but the movement was still fucked up like Parkinson's. Cause while we were giving birth to the culture we love, prejudice kept our own people out of the club. Only colored celebrities in the Party and left us a legacy of false superiority W.E.B. Dubois versus Marcus Garvey And we ended up selling out to everybody The Dutch Schultz's and the John Gotti's Bankster's, modern day gangsters, the Mobilati They wanna move us all out to NYC Like they did to the Jews with the Al Humber degree So support your own businesses and do the knowledge Cause the real Harlem Renaissance is economic Harlem Renaissance, a revolution betrayed Modern day slaves thinking that the ghetto is safe Till they start deporting people off the property Ethnically cleansing the hood Economically They wanna kill the real Harlem Renaissance Trying to put the Virgin Mary through her early menopause The savior is a metaphor for how we set it off Guerrilla war against the V-zoning predators When they were saying it is the renaissance of Harlem They didn't mean that we had stake in them They meant to say that they could make money out of us they are coming in with all kinds of prejudices. In Brooklyn, they're doing the same thing. In um, Queens, they're doing the same thing. The Bronx, there's hardly any place which is affordable. I mean, these people are putting up condominiums which start from a million dollars. How many people in this community make that kind of money? How many people have that kind of money? People of Harlem, they are the natural allies of the oppressed people of the world. Whether the struggle is in Panama, in Africa, Cuba, we spend money with the wrong people. We are looking for love with people who don't love us. What's wrong with us loving each other and making sure that we are protected?